really beautiful and unique pattern added to the fabric. On this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do the carpet bag stitch. I'm gonna be using a four millimeter hook and some cotton yarn size four. So for this stitch, I wanna start with a foundation chain that's a multiple of five plus six. So in my case, I have 21. Row one, you wanna work a two double crochets together into the sixth chain from the hook. So we're going to count six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Into that one, we're gonna do two double crochets together. So you yarn over, insert your hook into the chain, grab the yarn and pull it through. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through just two loops and stop. Now you wanna yarn over, go into the same spot with your hook, grab the yarn and pull it through. Four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two of the loops and stop. And now three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. That is a double crochet two together. And so now we are gonna start the row repeat. So now we're going to skip four chains. And so we are gonna skip one, two, three, four. And into the next one, we're gonna work two double crochets together. So yarn over, insert the hook through the chain, grab the yarn and pull it through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And now do the same thing, grab the yarn, insert the hook into the same spot, grab the yarn and pull it through, yarn over, pull through two loops only, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. For another double crochet two together. Now we're gonna continue the row repeat, you are going to chain two, and into this same spot, you're going to work another double crochet two together. So yarn over, Grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Do that again. Yarn over, pull through two. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And now into that same spot, you want to work a chain two, and then a final double crochet two, to get two together into the same spot. So we're grabbing our yarn and doing another two double crochets together to finish the row repeat. Essentially, you've done this like arch of double crochet two together. And so now we're gonna go back to the beginning of the row repeat. Now what I wanna show you here is if you work a lot of stitches into the same chain, your next chain from the foundation chain gets kinda hidden. So you wanna be careful with that and make sure that you count that. And so to go back to the beginning of the row repeat, we're going to skip four chains, including that one that's kind of cinched up. So we're skipping one, two, three, four, and then go back to the beginning of the row repeat by doing two double crochets together, chain two, two double crochets together, chain two, two double crochets together to create this little half circle of those. So do that until the end of the row and I will see you when we're there. Here. So at the end of the row here, you're gonna be left with five chains. Remember the one after the half circle that you work gets a little cinched, but we've got one, two, three, four, and five. And so to finish this row, you want to skip four chains and into the last one, you're gonna work two double crochets together, a chain two and one double crochet. So we're doing the very last chain, another two double crochets together. a chain two, and then one double crochet into that same and last chain. And that there is the end of row one. For row two, you wanna start with a chain one and flip your work. You're going to work one single crochet into the first double crochet. So into this one here, we're gonna do a single crochet. And now we're gonna start the row repeat. You wanna chain four. Skip two of the double, the two double crochets together. So skip this one and this one. And then do one single crochet into the top of the next two double crochets together. So into this middle one here from the half circle essentially, you're going to do one single crochet. 
and that's the row repeat. You can go back to the beginning by chaining four, skipping two double crochets together, like two sets, and then to the top of the next one doing one single crochet. So you wanna repeat this until you're at the end of the row and I will see you when we're there. So at the end of the row here, I've done my final chain four and I'm gonna skip two of the sets of two double crochets together. My final single crochet, I'm going to do it into the third chain. So we're skipping one, two, and into the third of the turning chain, I'm going to do my final single crochet. And that there is the end of row two. For row three, you wanna chain five. One, two, three, four, five. This chain five counts as a double crochet and a chain two. And you wanna flip your work. So now we're gonna do two double crochets together into the first single crochet. So into this first one here, very first one that I did, we're gonna do two double crochets together. Now you're gonna start your row repeat. You're gonna do two double crochets together into the next single crochet. So into this one here, you're going to do two double crochets together. Now you're gonna do a chain two. And into the same stitch, into the same single crochet, you're going to do two double crochets together again. a chain two, and then another two double crochets together into that same spot. And that's what that looks like. So now you can go back to the beginning of the row repeat. Essentially, you are gonna work into the single crochets from the previous row. You're going to work, um, the two double crochets together, chain two, two double crochets together, chain two, two double crochet together. So you can create those half, half circles into the single crochets, into the single crochets of the previous row. And so repeat that until you get to the end of the row and I will see you when you're there. So at the end of the row here, you're gonna have one final single crochet to go into. So into that one, you're just gonna do two double crochets together so two double crochets together. You're gonna chain two, and then into that same spot, we're going to do a double crochet to finish off this row. And so that there is the end of row three. Moving forward, you wanna just repeat rows two and three back and forth until you, ha you have the desired length of your work or a finished swatch. And here we have it. This is really cool, really beautiful stitch. It adds a different pattern to the work and it's quite structured. Hey, while you're at it, why don't you just subscribe to my channel? Just do it, just do it.